Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Georgia and today I'm going to be watching season 3 episode 1 of Sex Education. If you want access to the uncut reactions, the link to the Patreon page will be in the description below. Oh my god, I am so excited! Oh, it has been a long and stressful year and a half wait for this in more ways than one as we all know but it's finally back and i <laughs> i can't wait i finished my rewatch of seasons one and two last night basically cried my way through it not gonna lie my opinions actually changed on a lot of things like for example when i first watched it i didn't ship me for notice i was probably the only person in the world that didn't but I didn't shit me even notice. I was always really skeptical on whether I wanted them together or not because I didn't know if they would work. But like, watching it now, they are the ones that they both open up to about things that they're stressed about. Like Maeve especially, in season one, she would tell Otis about her problems and not Jackson, who was her boyfriend. And so like, now I am on the Maven Otis train, although it looks like he's going to be with Ruby from the trailer, which a lot of people on Twitter surprisingly ship. I don't at all. Maybe I will come around in this season because it looks like we're going to be getting a lot more of Ruby which I'm happy about after we found out that her dad has MS so that's going to be interesting but for now I'm on the Maven Otis train and I never thought I would say that. Also I like Ola now. If anyone knows me I really hated Ola and I don't even know why. Like Ola's great. No I didn't even hate her because she was an obstacle between Maeve and Otis because I didn't ship Maeve and Otis. I don't know why I hated her but she was my least favourite main character and then watching it, re-watching it, Ola's cool, she's chill, she's funny. Like I don't understand why I hated her but yeah. Long story short, all you need to know about me is that I simp over practically all of these characters because I love them all so much, way more than I should for a fictional TV show and I'm so excited for season 3. I'm so worried that this is going to be the final season though. I'm really scared because I read an interview with Asa Butterfield and he said how they can't continue playing teenagers forever because they're getting older now, which is fair. He doesn't think that the show writers would do it past their sixth form, like they wouldn't follow them into university or anything because it's about teenagers and their sex lives. So like, this, if this is their last year at sixth form or something, it could end up being the last season and I'm not ready for it to end. It's too good to end, but then maybe that's a good thing because shows can ruin themselves. I don't know, but if this is the last season, which I pray it's not, Let's hope it's as good as the other two. I'm far I'm beyond excited. Of course, we're starting off with the classic. They can't break the streak. Oh my god! I just I hate that mustache. Oh my god. The amount of effort Lily puts into her outfits is amazing. <laughs> oh Raheem! It was okay. Who is that? <sighs> She's honest. You do usually come though, right? Yeah. I mean, with other guys. Ooh. Oh, I'm bad at sex. Yeah, it sounds Why? like it. It looks like Otis shaves off that moustache pretty soon in the season. That's a blessing in disguise. <laughs> it's awful. Sex education manifesto. She wrote you. the book. Wrote this book as a response to working on campus. So low as well. Yes, Scotland. fuck you, Remy. If by racy you mean highly researched and completely essential to the health and well-being of our children, then yes. Go off, Queen. They're not still going on about sex school, are they? Mm. A lot of people hate Isaac, you know, and within reason, but I don't hate him, I hate what he did. He did something really stupid and really selfish, but what character hasn't done that in this show? Let's be real, they have all made selfish decisions and stupid decisions, so I, I'm i not going to hate him solely for that, because I did like him up until he did that. Um, so yeah, I know a lot of people hate him and that's your opinion, like you can hate him all you want, it's just a character, it's not that deep. But I I don't hate him, I just hate what he did and I'm sure he's going to get his comeuppance for that. Just tell her you like her already. You've had all summer to do it dude, you messed her over, you may as well have told her. Apparently pets bring couples closer together. Nice. We didn't think about who was going to look after her when we were at school. So. So where's it going to go? They're gonna chain it up outside like a bike. 
she hasn't responded to my message. She's made it abundantly clear she doesn't want me in her life. So oh, no, no. I don't need to know what Maeve is doing anymore. He must have been heartbroken. <laughs> <laughs> what is that on your face? I find it his helmet funnier than the mustache. You know he's gay now, right? Yeah. Oh my god, people need to shut up. We'll both end up at Oxford. Did I tell you he speaks six languages? Yes. I love their friendship so much. Why? I think my mum's book is an honest insight into teenagers today. And people should probably read it before speculating. Yes, get her that sale money. I'm sorry, the controversy surrounding Mordale Secondary is too fresh. Then why did you, you give him the interview? For this role. Everyone thinks she's gonna be cool. <laughs> Hell no. If you work hard and you take pride in your school. I love her. She's like Jamie Watt, but cooler. Wow, she's got a lot of stands. Hi, Oh. Well, you impregnated me. Jean, he knows your car. Mordale is here to encourage your passions. So it would be great if you could keep me in the loop of any further business endeavours you come up with in the future. This is really a false sense of security. It's so awkward. Nice beard. We're just in very different places. That's what you want to call it. Oh, it's just, she doesn't know. It's so awkward. Just bring it up, Otis. Maze. It's called a moustache. <laughs> True, that did annoy me that she said beard. No, this is going to be so painful. Ex Tina. Why is that her name? I kind of wish they didn't spoil this in the trailer. Because I would have been really shocked by it. Um, so my girlfriend told me that she's Ooh. having sex. Someone else is running it. Oh my... Is that Mr. Hendrix? That looked like an old person's trousers and shoes. Oh! oh. <laughs> no one. It's only you. That explains why the advice was so shit. Hey, I'm the sex king now. Ruby! What are you doing here? <laughs> well, well. Otis should not be an actor. Don't tell anyone about this. Then I guess you can't tell anyone about me being the sex king. Remember, five feet behind me at all times. Otis, you're a lap dog, man. You deserve better than that. Oh! What, what is that cheese? outfit? Anyway, it's a mac own. and cheese. I'm mac and cheese. Shut up and have sex with me. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and there's no trains. You got a problem? No, no, Adam. Uh, uh, sorry, Adam. Uh, I can't do this again. Oh, it's so difficult because he's tried so hard to change, but now he can't deal with people talking about him and making fun of him. But he used to do that to Eric, so it's kind of like a taste of his own medicine. But people don't deserve to be bullied for that. Hey, tell me something. What's your average teacher's salary these days? I thought this was Otis's dad for a second. I was like, what? To their brothers? I've got a scan tomorrow. Will you come with me? Please. <laughs> Sure. Oh, he's gonna bail on her, isn't he? But you have to tell him, Mum. You don't even have to say anything. Just step out of the car and he'll notice. I don't want people to think I'm a pussy. Because you're dating a guy. I'm still a man. Yeah, of course you're still a man. You need to tell Eric how you feel. Don't know how. Well, I think you should try. Yeah, pussy. <laughs> I'm so glad they've continued with this friendship. <laughs> That sweat just fell off his head. They're gonna end up making me feel bad for Mr. Groff, aren't they? I'll be fine. <laughs> What's that seductive voice? This looks so uncomfortable. So his legs up on the wheel. I don't want to be seen in public with someone who is mean and uses people for their good sex skills. We're done. Oh, oh, that could have been so cool. Whoa. Oh. Oh. <laughs> After you, good human. 
Oh. I don't like it when I hurt people. I want to change. You need to find other outlets instead of taking your anger out on people. You were puffed on that girl. <laughs> Why did you have to say it? Yeah. I'm a bit of a puffer now. Is that alright with you? Yeah, mate. There we go. Just own it. Oh. <laughs> They had the same idea. Oh, no, not the same idea. Come on. Come How on. disturbing to hear while you're getting changed. <gasps> no. Oh, no. Lost property for you. Sir Dex Thompson's naked. How embarrassing. Why did you scream, dude? They have the same hairstyle now. <laughs> There we go. Cat's out the bag. Dex, you shouldn't compare the size of your dick to anyone else's. It's irrelevant. Ask your girlfriend what she likes. And remember that orgasm doesn't have to be the main goal of sex. You have ten fingers and a tongue, Dex. That's all you need. Hey, Otis, I heard about you and Ruby. Don't know how you pulled that off, but congrats. Oh, no. No feelings. No feelings. Sounds cool. I didn't tell anyone. Ruby did. But hey, now everyone knows about you and Ruby. Guess I can carry on being the sex king. No, it's the opposite. That it means you can exactly tell. the opposite of that, <laughs> yeah. Kyle. I reckon Ruby revealed it then because she wants to keep doing it. I'm having a baby. Yeah. Jacob, support her. Don't be you a deadbeat. You need to be involved. Of course I do, but only if you want to be involved. I really have to think about it. I'm tearing up already. It's episode one, for goodness sake. <laughs> Thought my eyes would be dry after the season two finale last night. So, hopefully you can provide the right service on campus. Thank you for telling me, Otis. I told Lily. And I told everyone. <laughs> oh, wow! It's true. Good for you. Otis did come! I thought he was going to let her down. Oh, I love the show for not doing stereotypes. He actually showed up for her. Oh, but so did Jakob. Oh, Mum. Hi. How are you? Stop calling me. Oh, she didn't want her sister to have to go through the upbringing she went through. Oh, how can she not see that? The soundtrack to this show is just. I was thinking we could keep seeing each other. You know, because I like having sex with you. There we go. Otis, new member of the Untouchables. You love to see it. No! R.I.P. Asbestos Toilets. Thanks for the tip, Otis. Did you tell us to do this? I needed to end. Oh no! That was their changing room. Sex kids saved my life. Oh my god, I love this show so much. Well, the episode didn't disappoint. Season 3 is off to a good start. I love that they're continuing with some of the friendships that were built in Season 2, like Jackson and Viv, Ola and Adam. And from the trailer as well, I think I've seen that Doreen and Jean are also in a scene together. And I love their friendship too. So like they're continuing on from where they left off. They didn't just make it a one season thing, which I love. They're keeping the relationships growing. I'm glad Otis and Ruby has, hasn't been dragged on as a secret thing for like multiple episodes because, you know, secret flings, they're fine, but like, you know it's gonna come out in the end. So like, it's better to do it in the first episode like they have done because, you know, sex education, do everything right. So yeah, now it looks like they're gonna be in a proper relationship potentially, you know, they're public, she held his hand, they kiss, like maybe they're gonna be an actual relationship now rather than just casual sex, which should be interesting because I wanna see more of Ruby's home life and you know, what she's like behind closed doors when she's not being the ultra bitch of the school. Maybe notice awkward tension between them oh it's so 
painful. He he must have been so heartbroken that she didn't respond to his voicemail. So he bared his soul on it. And then she just thinks that he's moved on and he's with Ruby now and he hasn't made any effort to reach out to her over the summer and stuff. It's just so... Ugh, it's the biggest slow burn ever. Like, ugh, I, it better not be the finale when she finds out about the voicemail. Because I watched the trailer too last night. I tried so hard not to, but I did. And like, they obviously have that scene where she finds out about the voicemail. So i swear to god if that's in the finale i'm going to riot because it's been three seasons now i haven't been through as much pain as everyone else because i didn't actually ship them until a couple of days ago but like it's just torture for the fans come on adam's clearly struggling with coming out at school he's getting people making remarks about him and just everywhere he goes you can just hear people whispering his name and talking about him being gay but like him standing, him owning it to that jog. Like, I think that's the way you just gotta go. If, you, if you're if you fine with it, people won't care. Like, no one really made fun of Eric besides Adam, but that's because Adam wasn't okay with himself. So like everyone else, they won't make as much, they won't make fun of him if he just owns it and isn't affected by it. But it's, it's just cause it's new and fresh. Everyone talks about like new things when people come out or when people do something like everyone gets spoken about in school. It sucks, but it's the way it is. So he needs to find a new outlet for his anger than just punishing and bullying people because it's not healthy. I swear to God though, Adam got more lines this episode than he did in the past two seasons combined. I'm so glad he's actually getting speech because he was just frewed around in the first couple of seasons. And I do still love Adam, like that was enough for me to love him <laughs> and like his redemption arc and stuff. But I love that we're actually gonna see him talking through his feelings more this season, hopefully, if he if the punching the pillow thing doesn't work. He's gonna get more scenes where he's actually speaking to people and hopefully building relationships and friendships. So I'm so excited for that. Oh, I'm just so excited for this season in general. Um, if you want to join me on the sex education journey, I will be trying to post one a day for the next eight days, but I don't know how it's gonna go because copyright sucks with Netflix shows. So we'll see how it goes. I will try and get them up as soon as possible, but the Patreon is always there for people that want to watch the uncut reactions along with me. Please do leave a like if you enjoyed and want to see more reactions from me, and I'll see you next time for episode two. Bye.